been raining, huh? Yeah, it has. It, Iggy hates the rain. Does your old dog hate the rain? I mean, last night, <laughs> she, like, got up, and I was asleep, like, dead asleep. She got up, went over me, and just, like, didn't lay down, just, like, stood up right in front of my face. Staring right just in your staring. eyes. Just staring. To the point where I wake up from a dog staring. It's the only thing that woke me up. And then I wake up and, you know, like cloud of vision and stuff. It's like, whoa. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah, we had a lightning strike that couldn't have been more than like 50 yards away from the house. It hit something. I don't know what it hit, but it was loud. The storms came through pretty ferociously last night. I'm going to start trying with the vlog to make it more realistic. I've started to like cut the vlog up and make it into two vlogs and that's just not the point of why I created the vlog channel. I really wanted you to see what we really do day to day. So sometimes you might get like four minutes because most of it goes on the main channel like with the whitewater rafting day. But then other days it might get pretty long. So um, today is probably not going to be the longest and it is more true to life. I think the best true to life was the whitewater rafting video where I did airings in the daytime and then in the afternoon we went whitewater rafting. But we're at the post office right now. The girls went through their stuff because they're buying, they bought all that school stuff. And we remember I always said we either donate or give to family. So family has claimed a lot of things. So we're sending it out sending to out. family. What about my recycling of the new Converse boxes? Works good, doesn't it? Yeah. These flowers here are so cute. So everyone always kind of harps on their local post office. The Gatlinburg post office here, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Why'd you take a duck I with you? I just grabbed one, I got the key. Well, what is that? So that's from Outdoor Master. Uh, they sent us a few things to, um, uh, a pop-up tent for the beach, for the beach channel to, to use while we're down there to or we so, think so. I think that's what it is. Unless the girls. <laughs> if the girls ordered something that big, she came around the corner and, and with the big old boxes and I was like, what in the world could that be? Just to show you how quickly rain collects and you get those awesome rain oh, videos. Oh, we just got a lightning strike, it looked like, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> um, the, this, what Eric is gonna record and upload on the main channel, I'll probably do like a splash right here. Um, but the other one will be on the main channel probably tonight, so you'll probably see that before I don't this. I can see that, but um, it's but up to the almost a couple feet from the bridge there. It's only been raining overnight, and not even the full night, and not like a downpour of rain. Yeah, like it it's just, just been a steady rain. But mm -hmm. man, when all I mean, you, when you have like six thousand foot peaks, and you kind of I mean, Gallagher is basically surrounded by these mountains on three sides. So when you have that, everything just kind of runs mm -hmm. down to this valley and. I don't know about you guys, but I always like seeing the, the water going crazy. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to film. Uh, but now we gotta get strategic with it because of the whole mm -hmm. can't film in the park. So we find spots that aren't in the park. We do everything we can to not have it monetized. I still look like in, in the, the park. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we, not only do we not monetize ourselves, but then we throw like the most copyright music on top of it. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of enjoy it because, mm -hmm. you know, the law Freedom. talks about the intent, you know, mm -hmm. the intent to generate income. And obviously if, you know, we're copywriting, uh, putting copyright music in it and we're not monetizing it even if, you know a lot of people will say well you know youtube may still monetize it well i mean i'm not filming with the intent to generate income and from this that, isn't so. our personal opinion or us watching a lawyer on youtube yeah. we spoke with lawyers that are the on lawyer that's case. on the case yeah and we also are part of the national press photographers association and you know we, they have a legal team and when you're a member of that uh, organization they you can reach out to them and ba basically you know get information about these sorts of things so how long ago did we apply for a permit um so we applied for a permit it was about a month before <laughs> randy came so i think it's been uh, about two and a half three months almost now. Yeah. yeah so randy's approval for the permit even though he got permission it uses language where it's basically just like it talks about front country and back yeah. country so basically they say that anywhere even if you get a permit to film in the park 
that you have to be within a certain distance of a roadway to be able to film. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, essentially like with the trail, you know, and that's commercial filming. So again, with the intent to generate income, uh, if you're filming with the intent to generate income, you have to be a certain distance from the uh, from the road in order to do that. Speaking of, that hotel on our last hike, we met the guy that family owns it or owns yeah, it themselves? Yeah, his, his, uh, he is the nephew of the individual that uh, founded Lacant Lodge and all that. Yeah. If I can find that clip, I'll insert yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we just ran into Neil Huff. He's Jack Huff's grandson, right? Uh, no, he was my great uncle. Great uncle, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so we were uh, about to do Albright Grove. We're almost over here at the at the entrance here, and he's got some pretty cool stories about uh, about his family and Mount Lacant. Would you mind sharing a couple things with us there? Well, it wasn't Cumberland Jack and Paul Adams that started Mount Lacant. They might have been there first, but it was my great uncle Jack Huff that built it starting in 1926 when he was 18 years old. He operated it until 1960. 1960, Herrick and Myrtle Brown got the 15 year lease from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And then in 1975, my father Jim Huff operated it with his company, Huff and Ogle Enterprises, until uh, 1990. And I'm sure if you visit this area, you recognize the name Huff, and you probably know Jack Huff's lot. Man, I tell you what, we drive by there so often, and every single time we drive by there, there is someone outside cleaning something or yeah. manicuring. Yeah. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to meet y'all. Thank you, Eric. We're going to be hiking with him before long, too. Yeah. We're going to hit another one. I got one. them digis. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> it didn't really flow with, like, what we were doing. It was really yeah, cool I mean, man, the, the Albright Grove uh, trail was, uh, it was, it was kind of special for me uh so when i uh, put together a video like that there are certain things that you film and you are like yeah that'll be good for this video and then once i start putting it together it's like man it would completely throw off the flow of what you're trying to create we're on the wind sharks attack gearing up for shark week it's on disney JC got all of her shark teeth that she's found. I want to try to so see which ones are which. And she fight. wants to look at, this is a tiger shark. Yeah, right? this is a tiger shark jaw. Yeah. That one matches. A human match. Mm -hmm. Going through the sentimental stuff. Me and my grandma, my cousin. <laughs> my grandma wants to have that. me and gymnastics. Doesn't even look like me. That was my anorexic stage. That's me in the Smokies. Looks nothing like me. From that same time period, definitely going through my anorexic stage. Not stage, I just struggled with anorexia is what it was. Um, just being super involved in gymnastics. But this is at the Smokies. Looks like all the pictures they have of me is in the Smokies. We spent so much time here. Me and my grandpa around that same time period at their house my grandparents if it wasn't for them at a lot of points in my life but especially that time i don't know that i would be here look at mom what there's my gymnastics era <laughs> once again right back in the smokies that's at Cades cove that's probably a chimney tops that's me and my little sister. Hey, there's that tree at Kate's Cove. I told you guys it was there. That was my favorite house because of that tree right there. I'd climb it every time I got there. Me and my sister again. <laughs> me and my sister. I'm so scary skinny there. Chimney tops for sure. I had no idea I had all these pictures. Aww. Me and my grandma. I told you guys me and my grandparents would go on that hike a lot. That's Dustin and me. Um, but that for Mobile and Parody, Sugarland Valley Nature Trail. That hippie face. I'm going to tell you guys, me and my brother were so attached to my grandparents. This is my grandpa's, my grandma's and grandpa's house. All of our birthdays were there. Like literally, even the last of my grandma's life where we always had them there that looks like at sugarland valley there it is i told you i learned how to swim at the pools this is at the old river house me and the keg this was another one of my favorites i like to walk across that beam there probably shouldn't have been oh <laughs> years and years later 
Still me and my grandma. There they are, chimney tops. So many memories here in the Smokies. I had no idea that I would live here one day. Yeah, that's that old river house before it was burnt down. There's me and Dustin. It's that catch and release fish and, not catch and release, catch and eat fish and plays. We would never eat them. Who would have thought cleaning out a drawer? <laughs> well, what do we have Ooh. here? So Eric's Mario, for the record. He just got an extra star, bonus star, on Mario Party. Who's gonna get the eventful bonus? That's Keegan. And me, I'm and Yoshi. Yoshi. Oh! oh and JC. JC's Daisy. I want it to be. We're gonna see who won, and we'll just go on the record here for who won, okay? Let's see, who is it, who is it? Now this is last place. Last place is Eric. <laughs> and then Keegan. Uh oh, Joey. It's definitely me. Second. Joey got second? And who got first? But how many did I win? You by? stole all the coins, all the stars. Aww. From who won? How many did I win by? One? Did she steal them from, Jay? Did I win one, from by Dada. one? How many Let's stars see. did she steal from me? Seven. Seven stars. Cry me a river, okay, bye!